it has become very, very clear what episodes of Cars on the Road are Mattel's favorite. Of course, they like Road Rumblers, they like the Circus one, Salt Flats very much so as well, but definitely by a mile, their favorite episode is Dino Park because, well, it has dinosaurs in it, and who would have thought back in 2006 when we get that teaser trailer of McQueen and Mather drives into a bumblebee that we would be watching them on screen with dinosaurs 16 years later. It's a crazy journey. It's wild to think about. It's kind of, you know, obviously it's turned some people away from the franchise, but I just love the fun, chaotic nature of it. And to start off 2023, Mattel has put out a brand new playset that has been on pre-order on Amazon for quite some time. I'll leave the link for it in the description below if you wanna try and get one yourself. I think it's like 20, maybe a little bit more than that dollars. Looks like a very fun playset. It introduces the Spino Crank Shafterax, which was the big, big dinosaur in the episode. Of course, the just big one is the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex, which Mattel did as, you know, just this solo freeform type release. Very, very cool. Probably the best thing they've put out in years. I'll leave the link for that review in the description and card session pop up in the top right hand corner. So we're going to see how that works with this set. We're going to see, you know, how are other dinosaur related items fit into this play set that I am very, very excited to open up. So we're just going to dive right into it. They literally shipped it to me in the box that Mattel shipped it to them in. Disney and Pixar Cars on the Road Dino Playground playset made in Vietnam. So yeah, I thought that was interesting and wanted to show it to you. All right, so starting it off, you have the typical Cars on the Road packaging. This is it's so weird how they're releasing Cave Lightning McQueen here. You know, of course, we got the Mini Racer Cave Lightning McQueen. Then we got the Color Changer one right here. And Tomika also did a Cave Lightning McQueen. Hopefully, Mattel does the Diecast Cave Lightning McQueen soon because everybody has been waiting anxiously for that. But yeah, it looks like it's very similar to the Color Changer version because they're both plastic. So we're going to compare them, of course. And obviously, I really just want to see how this dinosaur looks because he looks amazing in the package right now. I love the artwork they put on down here at Mater and McQueen getting all <laughs> anxious and flustered because they're running from dinosaurs. Pretty simple name. It's just called Dino Playground. I'm not a huge fan of that title. I wish it was a little bit more like edgy, maybe like they actually named like this volcano, like because it's right there, the volcano's in the background. Like what if they named it like Velocity Volcano place that I thought, you know, I think that would have been really cool. Hire me, Mattel. Anyway, on the side here, you have an image of the launcher. You have an image of the dinosaur capturing McQueen in its claws or its jaws rather. And then McQueen, it looks like he's snatching like the dinosaur eggs. McQueen, are you raiding the poor dinosaur's family? Take a better look here at the back. So yeah, you launch him, he jumps, hopefully goes through the dinosaur's mouth and comes all the way around and I guess snatches the eggs or whatever, maybe. I don't know, it looks like there's a little diverter right here. We'll see how that works. Oh yeah, he wants to stay out of this lava as well. That looks like lava from the volcano. A lot of cool pieces for this place that I'm already noticing. It looks like there's like a little hatch up here for the leaves that he goes through and that's showing how you can connect the playset to other things. Yeah, because you can connect this on the road playset to all of the on the road ones they've done so far. I love how they lined them up here. They also included the new release of Red's Courthouse, which is a pretty, you know, nondescript playset. It could be applied to Cars 1, Cars 2, Cars 3. Same with this Radiator Springs one. Of course, you have the Salt Flats one, which I reviewed. The Whale Car Wash, that's a color changer one, but it's a part of this grouping. I reviewed that as well. I'll probably leave all these links in the description. They even put the dinosaur one in there. Then you have the Rusty's Dinoco Racing Center, which is a weird one because it seems like it was from a deleted scene in the series. And the Circus one. So I reviewed all, well, these four. I'll have reviewed all five of these. Maybe I'll review the Red's Courthouse one soon if you guys want it. But all the description will you know, have links to that. And I'll be right back with this opened up. And we're going to get after it today, guys. I ain't messing around. I'm going to see. I'm going to test the limits of this dinosaur and the queen to see who is going to be the true victor. Wow. 
Wow, that was way easier to open than I thought it would be. Everything just started spilling out of the box. So we're going to assemble this together so we all know how to do it and you guys aren't lost. But first, I want to compare the Color Changer Cave McQueen, which I have here in my left hand, to the Playset Cave McQueen, both of which are entirely plastic. No die cast here to be found. And there are more differences than I thought. The Playset version is a brighter red. The eyes are like flipped you know you can see this one's lower but this one's lower on the color changer version this one he looks way more ticked off and this one just kind of looks like poised you know like oh what's going on here this one's like get out of my way you stupid dinosaur on the back here the rope connecting the wood planks of their spoiler is dark green instead of light green so i guess maybe it's withered a little bit it's dead now instead of fresh vine the tires look identical, or the rock wheels, I guess I should say. Both of them are made in Vietnam. So you can see this one has a really clear date stamp. Look at that, 2582SD, so the 258th day of 2022. So that was made a while ago. This one's the 202nd day, so they're about 56 days apart, both in Vietnam at the same factory look at this one's starting to color change because of the heat of my hands <laughs> interesting so yeah those are pretty much the only differences expression color and the rope the vine rather all right now let's assemble this bad boy because the dinosaur the spinal crank shafter x is eager to get going here so here are all the parts i think i got them i hope i got them all right, so it says take the base and put that leaf. Oh, perfect. I had something to say. I have something to say about that piece. So I'm glad that we're gonna start with it. It's this piece right here. So let's clear everything off, put it to the side so we can focus on what we actually need here. You guys are probably wondering like, what was he, what was he got to say about it? Like, oh, it sounds very, very upfront. All right, this piece came with this black glob. And it's really annoying because like it's rubbing off on my fingers. So I'm sure I could clean it off. But look at this. Look at this black glob. See, the phone is scared of it. It doesn't want to focus on it. But I'm going to make it. Yeah, there we go. Like, look at this black glob. Isn't that so weird? And I'm going to rub my finger. Like, I could spread it. And you can see it's now on my thumb. I feel like I need to wash my hands down. Now it's on my other fingers. So I don't know what that is. It's like <laughs> some sort of chalk rubbed off onto it so that's not ideal but i'll wipe it off later this is supposed to be an all natural review so it says so the eggs are here gotta align it and simply this goes here okay step one step two that piece goes there oh the scales of the dinosaur it looks like and then on the back of the back of the dinosaur you put some more leaves so it looks like this part is what we're talking about here. Well, that was easy. I love that sound. I love that clicky sound. But I am struggling to find out what they're talking about. What piece do they want me to stick in there? What piece is that? Do I not? Oh, maybe it's in this little baggie right here. Probably should open that up. Oh yeah, here we go. We got all the smaller pieces in here. Oh yeah, this is what we need. Perfect, yep. So this will go in the back here. So yeah, the dinosaur is kind of like hiding in all these leaves, but we know very much so he is not a herbivore. He is a carnivore. He wants to eat McQueen or maybe a carivore. Look at me. All right, and then we want the lava to go right here. I have that. Nice, I like it. Making progress so far. Step four, you got to put the road over the lava and this tree right here. So I have the tree, I think, maybe. Where's the tree at? Oh, the tree. Oh, the tree is like two separate. Oh, no, no, no. Huh. Huh. It looks like this might go here, maybe. Oh, yeah. Wow, I got that. Yeah, okay. I think I got that right. And then... This maybe goes here. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I have too many of these wooden pieces right here. Let's get the, the road on first. How about that? So the road will go right here. 
it appears. Yeah, easy enough. The road goes right there. I'm just struggling to find out what is going on with the tree right here, guys. So they want me to take this. Oh, and they think they just want me to put the top of it on. Is that it? They just want me to put the leaves on the top here. Sounds easy enough. I could do that, right? Maybe. So you guys, we're experiencing this together today. There we go. All right, I'm elite. I know what I'm doing. See, <laughs> instruction manuals never used to just be pictures. They used to have words back in the day. <laughs> All right, now apply the head of the dinosaur. I like the sound of that. All right. You know what, why we just have the head of him here, let's compare him to the Spino, or no, no, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, since we both have him here. You know what, let me detach this. Oh, I don't know if I can now. All right, there we go, perfect. <laughs> It's like taxidermy. So here's the head of the Spino Crankshafter X and compared to the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex, the Spino is definitely bigger. Bigger horn, bigger jaws. Definitely a different shape because obviously the shape of his nose and everything, the snout supposed to look like a car. Very cool how they design these and both of them are, you know, in the same thick plastic, so it's easy to compare them. That's really cool. I'm a big fan of this, and I hope they make like an actual Spinal Crank Shafter Rex as they did the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex. That would be really cool, and we all know it would sell. It really would just be like a repaint almost. All right, step six. We got more tree here. Okay, so we have to apply these posts, and then the road all right this looks difficult <laughs> this looks difficult for poor old me all right we have the road here so it wants me to well, maybe yeah it's this piece of road so the thicker piece of road that have the openings underneath it wants a so which one is a this is says two on it Oh, this one says B. Okay, so this one's got to go here, I would assume. Nice. And then this one's got to go here, I would assume. Probably the other way around, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then they want me to go like this. Wow. That's exciting, guys. We're almost there. All right, step number seven. Let's get the instruction manual, which is just a picture manual. Now it wants us to put the tree canopy onto the track and the door. Okay, so I have the canopy. It looks like this will easily just go in here. Just a nice easy clamp. All right, get it everywhere. I'm not sure if it's secure. Oh yeah, it's secure. All right, and then you have the like little door and that'll just pop in to the top here, like so. Can't believe I'm doing this on camera live. <laughs> I'm just raw dogging it, guys. All right, part eight. So now attach that to your play set. Easy enough. This looks like it goes here and that goes there. Please. Hey, look at that, guys. I did it. I did it. All right, how many more steps? Step nine. <laughs> Jesus, in the morning. Apply the road. I think it will go on like this. Or maybe the other way. Okay, there's the road. Step 10 is then set your launcher up and then I guess just go for it. All right, cool. So we do have one more piece of road here and this is your connector to other play sets as well. So I'm just going to put that right there. 
and we are pretty much set here guys we have the launcher here now and it says to connect that all right perfect we are 100 percent assembled now which is pretty exciting that i was able to do that all on camera in about eight minutes so awesome guys Let's see if it says anything else all right so this is how then you would you know play with it i assume load vehicle and move diverter so you can move the diverter whichever way you want and it just goes into the hole there to stay put and two what do the eggs do here oh so the eggs like turn set up before play Oh, you gotta turn the eggs upside down. And then if he hits this, the eggs pop out. Wow, McQueen really is raiding the nest right here. <laughs> slam to launch. Look at that slam. Oh, we will definitely slam. Try again after being chomped. So if you get chomped, you don't have to stop. You don't have to return the playset. Jump through, race down, and reveal the eggs. <laughs> Such a weird concept change lane and load vehicle so then you could switch the diverter and you know he might go somewhere else let's see what this is all about here this lava patch launch launch and race out i can talk reveal the lava pit and crash in oh my god they're suggesting us to burn the queen alive look at that yeah yeah just open the lava pit up real quick so yeah, I guess that seems fun. It's kind of a weird concept. It seems like they're combining a lot of different elements. You know, they want the launch, they want the chomp, they want the eggs and the lava. It's like maybe if you had like, if you know, the dinosaur could have chomped you and then dropped you into the lava, that kind of would have been a cool concept. But we're all set up right now. I'm gonna throw that out, don't need that. And we're just going to load McQueen in guys. So you just drop McQueen into the playset here and we're going to zoom out. Perfect, and we're gonna see what we could do here. See if we could do any damage. Perfect. All right, guys, it said for to slam it, so I'm gonna slam the hell out of it right now. Actually, this is not in there, good. I knew it wasn't. All right, now it's in there, good. All right, the door is closed, we're gonna go nuts. Oh my God! Okay, whoever made this instruction manual and with the very, very few words they use, slam is certainly not the right one because I slammed that and it launched across my room and it would have gone outside my room if I didn't have the door shut. So don't slam it. And like my first thought is like move the launcher further away, but they like want you to have it attached right here. So I guess you could move it back and aim it a little bit more, but they want you to have it attached. So that's how we're going to do it, but I'm not gonna slam it. I mean, McQueen literally took a beating <laughs> and that's what it's for. So I'm not worried about it. But yeah, I did open the dinosaur's mouth. Now I realize that that was one mistake that I made. But all right, now we're going to gently, gently press down on the lever. Because it literally is like how much you press this thing is how much he goes. Let me show you guys the mechanics of it actually. So you can see in there, the launcher is just, you know, completely manual, you know, it is literally just pushing the car. It's not like you press a button and it'll shoot off like the Salt Flats place that was, or the, you know, Rusty Zanaka Racing Center. So let's try this again. All right, <laughs> maybe a little harder than that. I'm like so gun shy now with it. I'm very, very gun shy. All right, we need a little harder than that. Oh, shoot. The Spino Crankshaft Directs has captured McQueen in his claws. Jaws. So at this point you could just open up his mouth and remove McQueen and then open up his mouth again and the tongue will stick out. So the tongue is completely weight based. If there's anything on it, the mouth won't stay open, which you know makes sense because that's why you want it to close down 
on whoever might be trapped inside. Look, we even knocked down a cactus back there. We're getting that rowdy with it. All right. Let's give this another go here, and hopefully I can get them over the dinosaur's tongue. This is actually really fun because it is completely up to you about how well McQueen does. You know, it's all about how much you press down on the launcher. And we're going to try and avoid any pansy presses. Oh my God, you almost made it that time. All right, let's try it again. A little bit harder, but not like the first time. Oh, McQueen escapes. This reminds me of like a Hot Wheels wall track place that where the junkyard dog would like chomp down on the cars. Oh, I got it. Oh my God, McQueen got the eggs. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I love that. All right, so now let's move the diverter. By the way, let me show you how that works. Like it literally just pops out of one hole, moves to another hole, and so it stays in there. Super easy, super simple, very fun. All right, zoom out here again. McQueen's chilling on this road. All right, McQueen's going to come successfully through here and then we're going to reveal the lava pit and burn him alive. Or the spinal crank shaft or X will eat him alive. That works too. <laughs> McQueen is gonna take a beating today. This is one fast dinosaur. <laughs> Jeez, every angle possible McQueen is getting it right now. There we go. You have to get it good, but not like that first time where I absolutely giga launched him. All right, let's open the lava pit up here and see what happens. Oh no! McQueen, you okay? Ooh. <laughs> you know, I watched like this documentary about this volcano that erupted while people were still on it. Like a tourist group was there when it erupted in New Zealand. It's actually super sad, super sad. So it kind of brings a whole new meaning to this. So we're going to keep the <laughs> road down. How about that? We're going to keep the road down and just go for the eggs. How about that? Go for the eggs, flip them over. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, McQueen, show us some mustard here. Dude, you got you to gotta jump a little higher than that, bro. He keeps hitting this and then falling back down into the tongue. Pansy. Oh my God, he hit the dinosaur's mouth there. All right. Oh, that was right into the mouth. Didn't even have a chance. There we go. You gotta like press all the way down, but like not a full on slam. So honestly, for some people it might be a slam, but for me who, you know, is just freaking crazy sometimes, gives it everything I got, that would not be a full on slam. You don't wanna go nuts on it. Oh, that was weird. See, I hit a little bit too hard there. I think it hit the top of the canopy and then fell down. I'm surprised it didn't trigger the dinosaur. Nice, I'm getting good at this. I kinda, I'm in a rhythm right now. McQueen, you wanna steal some more eggs? Oh, how did that happen? How did he come down backwards? Nope. I think the spinal crank shaft X is up on me. Let's see. Best of five. How about that, Spino? Best of five. Whoever wins, I don't know, gets a beer or something. Okay, that's one point for me. Two points for me. Three. Oh, I just clinched it there. I feel bad. <laughs> I just beat him. That was pretty clutch, though. See, and then immediately the next one, the Spino gets it. All right, let's do best of seven then. So I'm up three, three to one. All right, I just clinched it again. <laughs> I feel bad for the dino, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's great. This is actually a really fun playset. In fact, I prefer it to any of the playsets that we've reviewed here on the channel in the past because <laughs> the door just closed up here. You just have more agency with it. Like you have more of an interaction with how your playing experience goes, you know, whereas the other ones you launch in, it's kind of the same every time. Sure, you could race cars and whatnot and you could adjust some things, but this one is definitely the most enjoyable, at least to me and my little kid body right now. Let's take a look at the action from a few other angles, eh? 
So you can see how it breaks through this leaf canopy door right here, which sometimes stays open like that, but it really should be down every single time. So it creates a little bit more of a breakthrough moment. See if I can go two for two. Nope. He's got me. Reset. One more time. Oh, that was weird. He cleared the dino, but he didn't make it through all the leaves. Poor McQueen. All right, let's see if I could get this reach in here. Oh, yeah, I got it. Now I don't have enough girth going on my launches, though. Oh, did you see that? Holy cow, how did that even happen? That is wild. McQueen, yet again, just narrowly escaping the jaws of the dino. <laughs> yet again, he escaped him, but he triggered the release. Wow. It's tough when you're, you know, trying to record. And yet, you also have to launch him. There we go. I got him. Perfect. Let's take a look from back here. Let's see how I do it. Get those jaws open. Oh my gosh, I flung him too hard. <laughs> the queen's firing a stray. There we go, I got him one time. Let's see if I can go two in a row. Nope, Spino's got me. Oh, he really got me there, jeez. What about from down here? Perfect. Now McQueen's chasing some eggs. That sounded weird, but he got them. Let's see if I have the dino's mouth down. Oh, ow, that actually kind of hurt. Let's see if I can maybe get him over the dinosaur and still in there. Wouldn't that be sweet? I don't know if it's possible because you got to get him like high enough here. Like you almost have to get him like right here so he drives over it. That seemed like it almost worked. Come on. Nope. Damn, I'm destroying the dinosaur right now. I don't think it's possible, guys. One more go. One more go. Yeah, no, you just keep hitting the dinosaur every single time you try and do that. What well, if we engage the Quadratorcasar in this? I'm, am I actually going to launch the Quadratorcasar, the Color Changers quad that I've never found in a store? Let's do it! This is a fat baby Quadratorcasar because he didn't go anywhere with that. I'm going to give him a little bit more gusto. Oh, God! He almost made it, but the Spino got him. He's in good shape. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Wow, this is a lot of fun, guys. I'm really happy with this playset, and he looks great. You know, you set this up with your Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex, and the whole setup looks really good. You know, you kind of have your own Dino Park diorama with this set because it's got the mud, it's got the dirt, the eggs, and all that stuff. So it really makes for, you know, more than just, you know, you set this up, you take it down when you want to play with it. It's more of like a display piece, at least to me. And that is what I'm looking for in these playsets. I remember I would only buy the playsets that served as like a display piece, same as the like donut one from Tokyo Mater, where it actually almost gave you like the donut building that Patoka, the Japanese police car, did donuts in. So yeah, that's really fun. This was a great time. I'm sure I intermixed some slow motion clips in there and whatnot. You know what we should do? What would happen if we have the Quadratorcasar crossing the road while McQueen comes through here. Let's see what happens. All right, well, he came down really slow that time because he got caught up. All right, not as fun as I thought it would be. What if, oh my God, what if we had this going on here? Let's see if I could keep his mouth open somehow, if I could like hook it on. Oh, it's like almost there. Oh my God, isn't that awesome? What, what are we even doing here? 
Oh, I almost triggered him to chomp on McQueen. That was awesome, guys. We're going to end it off there. Thank you so much for watching this video. And by the way, I think Get Me Collectibles has this item. So if you want it, check out his eBay store linked in the description below. If he doesn't have it, email him and ask him when he's getting it in because I pretty sure he is planning on it soon thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you intend to get this in the comment section below i mean like i get two of these this thing is so awesome i want to get another one and remove the spinal crank shaft rex from it and put him on his own little pedestal but yeah guys thank you so much hope you enjoyed this sexy playset review and i'll see you soon for another video bye now by the way, do you guys remember the On The Go Mini Racers Dino Park tube set? Because that also included a nest of eggs. It's really cool to see these compared. The playset ones have a much yellower nest and the eggs are cracked. So I guess that means more spinal crank shaft directs are in the making. But you could also use the other accessories from that set like the bones or even the trees, even though they're a bit small, to spruce up your diorama.